previously on board. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Something nice and slow and dirty to mark the um, the death of Australian rugby, which died <laughs> died a violent death over the weekend. It was murdered, in fact. Australian rugby murdered in France. Hello, David. No, come back. <laughs> Hi, Alan. How are you? Yeah, good. Thank you. That's good. I, lo- I mean, I listen. My second team of France, and uh, I love the French. So, yeah. enjoyed that result. Yeah, it was. Um, it wasn't great. I mean, but realistically, what can you expect from the Wallabies after the season they've had so far? So, I can't believe people are still asking me whether they think Robbie Deans might be gone by the end of the year. I mean, surely now he can't still stay in his job. Well, I'll put it this way: if he was in South Africa, I reckon there'd be a revolt at the moment. Yeah, gee. But in Australia, they've obviously, you know, he had those four games to prove himself. He won what two out of four. So, I mean, it's just it was just shocking watching. I mean, you know, Pat McKay again just could, shouldn't be there. It was just, you know, the French were, were good, but they weren't great. But I mean, Australia didn't even look like scoring a try. And we haven't scored a second test this year where we haven't scored a try. Mm. No, I, mean, uh, I mean that's the scary part. You're saying the French weren't uh, were good, weren't great. <laughs> to lose thirty three six against a side that weren't firing, we know how good the French can be. But yeah. I mean, seriously, you've yeah. got to start looking at yourselves. Going, what is going on with Australian rugby? I mean, okay, eighteen uh, all against the uh, All Blacks, wipe that one out because this result must really. Yeah, it was shocking. But yeah, also, shocking, you know, but you all... just, again, you just watch the All Blacks play. I mean, Scotland were giving them a, a run for their money, but. They just score when they want to score. But the thing is, you have a look at there. There's no spin passing, very simple basic skills, attack the advantage line and create the space. I mean, that's what rugby, it's an easy game. But for some reason, Robbie Deans has got the the forwards bashing it up, bashing it up. And, you know, you know who the runners are. I mean, it was great to see Freddie Michelet play for France again. Yeah, awesome. He's a great player. And it was amazing. He was right in there amongst the tackles. He was actually enjoying. And that's what... To me, it, it, the difference is he seemed to be enjoying himself. Where currently Beale was struggling, he there was no runners. There was he tried to run through brick walls. You need to create opportunities, and Australian rugby at the moment there isn't not one opportunity at all. So what now? What do they do now? I mean, surely, as I say, I, I mean it must be a matter of time before they get rid of. Uh, they won't get rid of him on the tour, but when he comes back, oh. unless, well, I think unless they're going to beat England. Um, I think if you lose this week to England, England, I think that's definitely a goner. Yeah. You know, um, because you can't, you know, I mean, again, like, you know, I go on Twitter and I've, I've copped a bit of crap on crit, uh, Twitter, which is acceptable. You know, you, you tip your team to win, it doesn't win and so on. But the thing is, it's not that, it's not that the way, it's just the way that they're playing. They just don't seem to be a team that can actually score a tie. They're just lacking, you know, that enthusiasm, the, uh, the skills and the passion. You know, you can go out there and rev guys up and say, you know, I was reading Curtly Bill saying, oh, it's great that the, the reserves came down and pumped this up. I said, well, mate, that's great, but nothing was pumped up at all because you still didn't score. <laughs> yeah. No, you got absolutely smashed. I mean, that's the bottom line. All right, so um, we'll see. wait and see what happens. Obviously, I've got England this weekend. Do you give them any hope of beating them? Well, not really. I mean, obviously, England had a pretty easy run playing against... Um, Fiji, Fiji, which you expect. Uh, it's not really a great way to go in, but they'll tighten their belts up. I, I honestly can't see how Australia's going to win. I mean, I can't see where their strengths are at the moment because there isn't. You know, we've got uh, four fibs at halfback who, who I know is really not up to test rugby. Um, you've got a four pack that's, we've got no num Palu's great, but there's no, they don't combine. It's just like a bunch of individuals going out to play, and, and it's not going to work. You've got Cummins as a centre, again, the backs don't actually complement each other. They just run out there and they just run. There's no actual trying to step, run into space, look for the offload. You know, if you look at the All Blacks, the way they played, every time they made a run, Carter made a run, offloaded, someone offloaded, they looked to, to use the ball, let the ball do the work, but these guys can't do that. So, look, it's going to be very tough. I'm going to be there, so it's going to be very tough. <laughs> All right. Well, my sympathies in advance because I can't see them beating England. Um, South Africa over Ireland, uh, a, t- a, t- a tight one. Um, everyone was doom and gloom after the first half. They managed to pull it through in the second half. It's not not that surprising. I think they just needed to try and get their game together. But once again, they just looked like they were completely disinterested in the first half. 
Yeah, look, it's hard yeah, to go out there. You to go out there. You know, realise that you should win. But it, again, should. this is Test rugby, you know. And as I said, the Irish are the a sort of team you don't know what to expect. And they actually played well. But you know, firstly, coming out in black jerseys was a bit of a surprise to everybody. I thought I'd play in the All Blacks. Um, but I mean, the box did did some really good things. Um, but Lowe is a great player for you guys. He does a lot of scavenging. He, he wins a lot of turnover. Um, uh, Lambie didn't really. You can see he's lacked. Uh, practice at 10 because he didn't re- he really struggled he didn't control the game and just sometimes it was aimless kicking away um, it, it's really just trying to get that back line settled and pick the back line for the next four years and at the moment I think Mo's still up in the air who he's going to pick and you can see Pat Lambie needs to come out of his shell if he wants to claim that number 10 position um, the forward's very aggressive as again um, obviously you know, the Irish were good. The Irish, you know, again, at home, the crowds, first half was great, but the second half had changed. And, you know, as I said, the referee changed at half time as well. Yeah. The box gave 11, 11 penalties away in the first half, and the second half, I think the Irish gave away 11 or 12. So, you know, the referee's always going to try and even up a game. So, you know, that's what I think of the game. But the box have got to, they've got to start to improve. They've got to start to get some teamwork going. Yeah. Look, Scotland shouldn't be too much of a problem for them, although we've said that before and they've come unstuck against them. Um, England's going to be the big I, test I, for them. Yeah, I think if they play, yeah, they're all the All Blacks. All Blacks just move the ball in the space. You've got to learn now not to run around them. You know, and the commentator said the All Blacks done their homework on the fringes of where you attack these others. The Scottish. The Scottish. Two great guys kicking the ball through the ruck and they score. The defence was good. The defence was good. You need more than that. 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 When they've got the opposition on the back foot, keep on speeding the game up, don't slow down, don't try and create the space. You've got to, once you're behind the van, try and offload. You've got to use these big guys to offload the small guys. You know, JP Peters, very, very lucky to have a field off where he should have been red card and then red card and then no arms at all. That was a bit silly, but a bit silly. Again, we didn't really see a lot of him. Will Hogarth on the wing, the ball doesn't seem to be getting out there. I think they've got to try and use their strengths out wide a lot earlier as well. Yeah. As well. Something like JP has uh, spent the last few uh, test matches actually that he has played uh, trying to come in to find work to do. Yeah, but what you've got to yeah, do is got... I was the same as a winger. What you've got to do is you've got to have a combination with your number 10 and number 9 and you've got to give them information when you want to come in and where the gaps are. Um, I think uh, in the second half we saw Pino went down the blind once and then I think JP knocked it on. It was no. on, but there was just instead of be no communicating communication and that's where it fell apart but it was it was on if you went straight away with JP there um, it's great to look for it but JP's a big guy he doesn't he needs to get into the gaps yeah um, and at the moment it's not really happened because he hasn't got that combination with the number 10 and 9 all right well look the Aussie game uh, yeah maybe some people didn't think that was going to happen particularly not by that margin but the yeah. result of the weekend yeah. for me was yeah. Argentina yeah. giving Wales a good uh, a good lesson yeah, it was quite yeah, interesting. Was so quite interesting. I actually tipped uh, Wales to win, and I got some arrogant Argentinian giving me absolute hell. <laughs> so he said, you arrogant Aussies. And I've gone, cheese, mate, you win one game and you're a world champion. I said, who are you? He said, I've got a PhD in predictions. I said, well, I'm <laughs> very happy for you. <laughs> and he's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you try and pick a team that you, you, know, you think is going to win, and you absolutely cop hell. So I don't know what to do these days, Eric. <laughs> I'll just say not available. <laughs> no, that's what Twitter's about. You put yourself out there and then you take it. You know? I've always done that, yeah. yeah. But anyway, I think the, the, uh, the Argentinians... Um, I did see one Twitter where one guy said it was, it was a very boring game of rugby. Um, the Welsh, I thought, should have won, but again, the Argentinians have learned from the championship. Yeah. Again, they play that very spoiling style of rugby, don't they? It's not an exciting game, uh, but they win, and I suppose that's what people want. You know, well, that's that's what they fancy. But I'd love to see, um, you know, running rugby where, like the All Blacks. I mean, they just it's great. It's great. It's entertaining to watch. Mm. I think rugby's about entertaining people. Yeah, yeah, always, always isn't, always it isn't, always has been. So, uh, well, dollar uh, coach, well, dollar coach. <laughs> it's not like the All Blacks aren't finding success with that kind of rugby. All right, uh, so the game's coming up this weekend. Then before we let you go, yep. uh, uh, so who's now the Australians have got England, right? Yeah, I think I, I think I've gone. For, I have to go for Australia, mate. I have to because I'm Australian. I can't. It's like you going for you're a box and you're going against a spring box. So I think Australia by one. 
<laughs> yeah, Australia by one. That's Troy. You read into that. Read into that what you will. Yeah. All right. Australia by one against uh, England. South Africa, Scotland. Uh, South Africa should win. I think it might be a tight game, but, but I think they should win by ten points. Oh, okay. All right. Who've uh, Who've uh, the All Blacks got this weekend? Um, have they got Ireland or have they got Italy? Hey. Is it Ireland? Is it Ireland? That they, um, who are, uh, the Wallabies have got England? Yep. All right, we're just checking here for a moment here. Yeah, okay. Uh, who's Wales got? Wales have got... Well, that's, um, what I'm, that's what I'm wondering about now. Check Wales? Sorry, I can't check. I can't have it up here because I've got you up there on my screen at the moment. So. Uh, How come I can't see you anymore, Darren? What's wrong? I don't know. Camera seems to have gone uh, gone all... I think they've had it removed because it, it's... It sucks just up all the it just loses that um, you know that facial expression sort of. Okay, uh, Darren, it's um, it's Wales, Italy, New Zealand. Italy, are the, yeah. okay, so there's a hundred points. Yeah, definitely. I think I saw Italy play against Tonga today, and uh, Tonga actually played very well, which mm. was great. Um, but I think that uh, the All Blacks, on present form, thirty to forty points, at, mm, probably more at a minimum. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that means uh, the who's left. Uh, Ireland yeah. versus... Uh, it'll be, okay, England, Australia, France, Argentina, Argentina Ireland, Argentina. Argentina. Oh, Argentina. Fr- France, Argentina, that's the game of the weekend, oh, yeah. the old enemies. Yeah, I think that's, uh, it's going to be very interesting because they both hate each other. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the players play in France, so it'll be interesting to see. I, th- I think Philip son Andre's done a really good job getting the French back to the style of rugby yeah. they want to play, uh, but it's going to be a tough one. I think I'd have to go for, or oh, let me see, if I go for Argentina, I won't get abused as much, so I'll go for Argentina. All right, I'm going to go France and a high-scoring close win. Sure. High-scoring high close one, okay, right. Uh, but I don't sc- think the Argentinians are going to be too interested in running the ball. I'll be kicking a couple of drop goals and penalty goals. Yeah, I was just thinking against France, I just think it's going to be a high-scoring close uh, one. Is it Ireland versus PG? Must be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Johnny? I think that no, uh, Ireland will win. It depends on what colour jersey they wear this week. Wales, Samoa, Italy, New Zealand, England, Australia, France, Argentina, Ireland. Um, so it's, yeah, France, Argentina. That's it. Ireland against? No, 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 no. Why is it not on you? <sighs> must be Fiji. Play Fiji. It's not it must on play you. Fiji. They're touring. Yeah, Fiji. All right, Wales, Samoa. We won't bother about that. Okay, I'll, go for, um, I'll go for Wales against Samoa. All right, yeah. Although Samoa, didn't they um, beat them in a World Cup, Cup uh, about eight years ago? Oh, that's I, beaten long before. Up, but I think yeah. the, the Welsh after losing last week, my Six Nations champions, I think there'll be a rocket stuck up their backsides. I'll pull a finger out, yeah. All right, yeah. so uh, those are the games coming up this uh, yeah. this weekend. Thanks a lot, David. Uh, all the best. What are you off to do now? I'm off to watch my son and he's uh, in the year play, Jason. All right. What, cricket? At school, so that's great. Cricket? No, no, he's, he's got a, a school play. Oh, an actual, he's actually a thespian. Yes. All right, cool. What what, what play is he doing? He's only he's only five, but obviously every oh, class cool. has got a, a special play on. And oh, that's cool. On watch. So that's and then on Wednesday I'm off to England. Golf on Sunnydale on Thursday. Interview Friday. Game Saturday. Back Sunday. All right, cool. So we'll have you back again on Monday. We'll be back on Monday. You were right, Ireland, Fiji. That's Ireland, on this Fiji. New fixture. Thanks, list. Johnny. Thanks, Darren. Um, thanks, David. Travel safe. Thanks, we'll chat you again next Monday. And enjoy the play tonight. I will. Thanks, mate. Okay, cheers, man. Bye bye. Cheers, There we go. David off to go and see his lighty in a play. This is Ball's Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate, and John. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African time. Balls.co.za.